Hello and welcome to my video on Genesis 46. So the chapter starts out with Jacob or Israel. The names just kind of flip flop back and forth between Jacob and Israel in this chapter. It's a little confusing, but it's just the same person. So it starts with Jacob kind of uprooting his entire family and moving them all over to Egypt. And the way God kind of instructs Jacob to do this, it kind of makes it seem like Jacob would be a little hesitant to move to Egypt. And it also explains, the uh, cheater notes that I have, explain how Abraham and Isaac's experiences with Egypt, specifically during famines, are not very good. Isaac was just completely prohibited by God to go to Egypt during a famine, and Abraham and Sarah were almost killed during an Egyptian famine. So it kind of makes sense why Jacob could be a little bit hesitant to try to move to Egypt. So God reassures him that I'll be safe, I'll go before you, and I'll bring you up in it. And just when you really think about Jacob just uprooting his entire family, it says that he brings his sons, his son's sons, his daughters, and his son's daughters, and all his offspring he brought with him into Egypt. So it's kind of crazy to think about how in the middle of a famine, when they don't have food, uh, Jacob decides to uproot, uproot his entire family and like the entire culture because there's somewhere around a hundred people that he's just picking up and moving to a completely different country and starting a brand new life in the middle of a famine. That takes a lot of faith for them to do. And then, after they're in Egypt, uh, Jacob and Joseph get reunited, and they hug and cry a lot, and Israel says he can finally die happy because he knows that Joseph is alive and he has seen his face. And a weird little part at the end of the chapter is that Joseph tells his brothers to not use the word shepherd when they introduce themselves to Pharaoh and that they should call themselves keepers of livestock because for whatever reason, even the cheater notes don't know, Egyptians don't like the word shepherd for some reason. There could be some weird connotation with it that the Egyptians don't like, but keeper of livestock is acceptable. Thank you for watching.